It has been a crucial 48 hours for Pakistan as leaders pull out all the stops to stake claim on the government. On Sunday, senior leaders of two parties, the PPP and the PMLN, met to discuss a possible pact government to keep Imran Khan out. Pakistan People's Party Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zadari and PPP President Asif Ali Zadari held a meeting with the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz President Shabazz Sharif. Now, the two parties have agreed to form a coalition government. Joint statement issued by the two parties said that the PPP is all set to put forward the PMLN's name during the party's Central Executive Committee meeting, which is set to take place later today. The discussions came after Shabazz Sharif reached out to Bilawal Bhutto Zardari at his residence in Lahore. The coalition in the talks can likely feature other smaller parties. This, as Nawaz Sharif hosted delegates from the MQMP that has 17 winning candidates. Meanwhile, supporters of a minority regional party in Pakistan celebrated after winning seats in the national election. Around 200 members from the Matadia Qam Movement Party waved flags and cheered as their party leaders made speeches in the city of Karachi. Meanwhile, there was action on the streets of Pakistan through Sunday. Workers of the Pakistan Tariq e Saf held protests in Lahore, Karachi, Peshawar and Rawalpindi. Imran Khan's PTI has rejected talks with the PMLN and the PPP and intends to form federal government independently. Since independence formed the largest bloc, the election commission has directed them to either form a new party or choose an existing party within 72 hours of the election results being declared. The final results were announced with the independents bagging the largest number of seats with a tally of 101. Out of these, 91 were backed by Imran Khan's PTI. This is followed by the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz at 75 and the PPP at 54. While independent candidates have emerged as a clear winner in Pakistan's National Assembly, results for the provincial assemblies are contrasting. In Sindh, the Pakistan People's Party is leading with a huge margin. It has won 84 seats in total. Now remember, at the national level, PPP only stands third in the race, but that's not the case in Sindh. If we look at the province of Punjab, the independent candidates stand neck and neck with the PMLN party. The independents are linked to Imran Khan's uh, party have a slight edge over the Nawaz Sharif party. Now, they are also leading the race at the national level, overtaking the PMLN rather comfortably. And their lead extends to Khyber Pakhtunkhwa as well. The independent candidates have completely swept the KPK province, winning 90 out of the 112 seats where the results have been announced. And finally, let us now look at Balochistan, where the results have uh, been announced, the country's largest province in terms of land. Here, unlike all the other three provinces, we are seeing a tight race. A coalition government is expected as no party has seats required for a simple majority. For latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.